Hello, I'm Mrs. J. And um, the question, once you had a question on number six, doing a test of a population mean. Um, first thing is, w when you read the problem, it tells us that he claims that it takes 14 minutes for assembly. A consumer advocate thinks the assembly time is higher than 14. So that's where our test is. It's at 14. You don't want to use the values they from, found from their sample. So we're testing mean equals 14. That's what our null hypothesis. And then we want to show that it's actually greater than 14. And so this should have been greater than. I don't think it'll let me change it. Oh, it did. So it should have been greater than 14. Now to find the test statistic and the p-value, we are testing this. They did a sample of 14, which is small, so that already tells you t-value. But even if it was large, because the standard deviations from the sample, you still have to use a t-test. So we go stat over to test, and we want the second one, the t-test, and hit enter. We're using statistics, so this one's stats. Our mean was 14. That came from the null hypothesis. The sample they got was 16.8 mean and a 3.5 standard deviation, and the sample size was 14. And then we're testing greater than, and you just calculate. And it gives you your t value, which there you go, can see it there. Matches right here, 2.993 and 0 0.0052. Since the p value is less than or equal to alpha, we reject it. And the data suggests the population mean is significantly higher. Number seven is similar, except instead of telling you the mean and standard deviation, they're actually giving you the data. So first, let's read it. The average wait time to get seated at a popular restaurant in the city on Friday night is 14 minutes. Is the mean wait time greater for men who wear a tie? Wait times for 13 randomly men who are wearing a tie are shown below. And so what we're testing is if they say it's 14 minutes, we want to test if it's higher. So this is equal to, and then this would be your 14 minutes. And this is the same value. So this comes from what somebody said, not from the actual test. Then we do the test down here. Now when they give you data, notice when we went into the test, it has stats and data. Well, we'll use data. So first you have to put the data in. And so we need to type all of these in. To type them in, that is under stats and edit. Now I think I have some stuff in there already. Notice I do. To clear that, second and quit, go back into stat and go to clear list. Hit enter, and then it was in the first and second list. Notice they're down here in blue. So second list, comma, second, and I'll get rid of both of them so I don't have to worry about them. Then when you go back into stat and edit, now they're blank. And you want to type it in the first one. So I'm just going to type them 13 enter, 14 enter, 16 enter, 15 enter, 12, 14, 12, 16, and 2 15s. So I entered 13. 1, 2, 3. 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so hopefully I typed them all right, but they're all there. Second and quit. So now when you go over to the test, stat, test, and we want a t-test because it was small. You want to go over one to data. Notice how this changed. It put the list in there. So now we only have to put our hypothesis test, which was 14 again. So 14 is right. We put it in list one. Leave frequency as one. And then we're testing greater than, which it's on greater than. And then calculate. And there's your t value. Negative 0.201. And your p value. 0.5778. And then the p value is greater than the alpha. So we fail to reject. And then it would be this one. Population mean time for men who wear ties is not significantly more. Hope this helped. If you have questions, let